Hello friends, welcome to history and mythology. Everyone in this world like to hear the tales. In today's video, I have brought two tales from ancient Egypt which precisely written during the reign of Khufu which contains the event before Khufu's reign. In that way, these tales are more than 4700 years old. These tales were written in the papyrus which is called Vastgar Papyrus. If you are new to our channel then please consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. The Vastgar Papyrus is an ancient Egyptian text containing five stories about miracles performed by priests and magicians. In the papyrus text each of these tales are told at the royal court of King Khufu by his sons. Vaskar Papyrus dates to the Hykos period and states that it is written in classical Middle Egyptian. The papyrus has been used by the historians as a literary resource for reconstituting the history of the 4th dynasty. This papyrus was discovered in 1823 or 1824 by the British adventurer Henry Vastkar, who apparently discovered the papyrus during travel in Egypt. For unknown reasons, he didn't know the exact circumstances under which he obtained the artifact. The papyrus is now on display under low light conditions in the Egyptian Museum of Berlin. Papyrus Vastkar is a reused papyrus made of the plant Cypress Papyrus. The text written on the papyrus includes 12 columns in all. The first part contains on the recto columns 1 to 3. The second part contains on its recto columns 4 and 5 and the third part contains on the verso columns 6 to 9 and on the recto the final columns 10 to 12. The text itself is completely written in black iron gold ink and carbon black ink. Between the neatly written sentences, red traces of an older text are visible. It looks like as if Papyrus Vestcar is a palimpsest. The unknown ancient Egyptian author obviously tried but partially failed to wipe the older text off. The clean and calligraphical handwriting shows that the author was a highly educated professional. Vastkar Papyrus contains overall five tales and out of five I found two tales, second and third are more interesting where we can see the high usage of magic. In the second tale, which is supposed to have taken place during the time of King Nebka, is about a man named Vavonea whose wife commits adultery with a townsman. Vavonea uses some self-help. He fashions a Vudazic crocodile doll out of wax. The crocodile grows into the genuine article of full-fledged amphibian when an adulterer returns on the next day to swim in Vavonir Lake. The crocodile attacks the townsman and takes him underwater for seven days. Meanwhile, Vavonir is visiting King Nebka. Vavonir then brings Nebka back home with him. Nebka witnesses first-hand the townsman's punishment and expressly approve telling the crocodile takes what belongs to you. Whereupon the crocodile once again drags the townsman back under the water never to be seen again. The third tale is supposed to have taken place during the reign of the King Snefru. King Snefru is unhappy and bored. Upon the advice of his lector, priest and scribe, Snefru decided to amuse himself by having 20 young, scrantly clad women row a boat on his lake. 
when one of the young women drops her fish-shaped charm of new turquoise into the lake, she becomes so upset that she is unable to continue rowing, and consequently, the other rowers on her side of the boat stop rowing also. Snefru asked her why she has stopped. Then Majesty said to her, Why do you not row? She said, A fish-shaped charm of new turquoise fell into the water. And His Majesty said to her, Would you like one to replace it? But she said, I prefer my own to a look alike. Snefru then again calls his lector priest. Lector priest parts the water and retrieves the charm. Thereafter, Lector put the lake water back in its normal state and the rowing resumes. His Majesty passed the holiday with the entire palace. Papyrus Vestcar is of great interest to historians and Egyptologists since it is one of the oldest Egyptian documents that contain such complex text. Unfortunately, the name of the author has been lost. If you like this video, then please consider subscribing to our channel and share this knowledge with your family and friend.